Welcome back to Dicking Around Outdoors. Tonight, I'm gonna to let you in on a little secret. There is one reason why you should buy a Dutch oven, and it's not a Mountain Man breakfast. It's not beef stew. Tonight, I'm gonna to share the secret with you. So stick around. We got the charcoal going. Let's see what we've got for you. Welcome back to Dickin' Around Outdoors. Tonight's secret, I'm gonna share with you why you need a Dutch oven camping. Before I share that secret, take a moment to punch that little red subscribe button down below. So the recipe that I'm gonna share with you tonight is none other than the humble dump cake. Now I know what you're thinking. I might want a Dutch oven for a hungry man breakfast or the mountain man breakfast. I might wanna make beef stew, forget that. You want a Dutch oven so you can make dump cake. And tonight, I'm gonna to show you the recipe for one of our favorite dump cakes. So let's take a look at the ingredients that we're gonna to use tonight. So this is the ingredient list for our dump cake tonight. Four ingredients, that's it. But it is incredible. What are those ingredients? We've got a yellow cake mix, we've got a bag of blueberries, a 7-Up, and the magic sauce, lemon curd. And we're gonna cook that all up in a large 12 inch Dutch oven. So hang around, and let's cook. All right, first step in our dump cake. I am going to use an insert tonight. Um, I'm just doing that for two reasons. One, to show you how the inserts work. And two, sometimes fruit can get a little sticky and I don't wanna to have to big, uh, clean up a big mess afterwards. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump in this bag of blue berries. This is a bag of frozen blueberries, so it went in the cooler frozen. Spread that around on the inside of the pan. Then you top that with the lemon curd. You just dab it on. Now we're just gonna mix the cake mix up and in order to keep dishes down, we're just gonna mix the cake mix right in the blueberry bag. And that's the cake mix and the seven up. We're gonna put this on. We're gonna put about 16 coals on the top, 10 on the bottom. We're gonna bake it for an hour. And I will guarantee you, the entire family will love this dessert. All right, I think we're there. Let's go get the coals ready. We've got the coals on. As I said, I've got 16 on top. I've got 10 on the bottom. That's roughly 350, 375. I did put it on a trivet. As I've mentioned in previous videos, one of the most frequent fails, if you will, of Dutch oven cooking is burning the bottom of baked goods. So I've got it up on a trivet to keep the bottom a little cooler. And I am going to rotate the oven about every 10 to 15 minutes. And if you recall, we rotate the oven because charcoal is not a precise source of heat. So in order to ensure that all the contents of the oven get an equal amount of heat, we rotate the oven. We do that by rotating the base counter or clockwise a quarter turn and the lid counterclockwise a quarter turn. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes now. As you can see, we did reload the charcoal. Normally the briquettes will last 40 minutes on a good day. So we did reload the charcoal. Um, I just added the additional ones at the bottom without removing the old ones. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, this is done. And I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. The lemon smell coming off that curd, it's fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it off the fire, let it cool down just a little bit, and we're gonna dip in and see how it tastes. So here we are, the blueberry lemon curd dump cake. Now I might've been a little hyperbolic earlier when I said that's the only reason you should get a Dutch oven but I will tell you this is fantastic kids love it great for the whole family it's easy and it really makes you know right away why Dutch ovens are so great to have so I hope you try the recipe I hope you 
Tell me about it below. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for joining. Thanks to all of our subscribers. We really do appreciate you. You make it fun and worthwhile. I'm going to have some of this. See how we did. It's just so good. So I hope you try it. Take care. We'll see you next time. Hmm. Ma'am, you got to try this.